Hi, this is Mrs. Wiederholt, and welcome to my review on solving three-step equations. Now let's get started. I have two examples of three-step equations. First, we'll start out with the one on the left. Now in this equation, our first step will be distribution. And after we do distribution, our second and third steps will just be like a two-step equation. So let's get started. 2 times 3x is 6x. And 2 times 4y is 8y. So I have 6x plus 8y equals 8. Now my second step will be to move the 6x to the right side of the equation. So remember, I'm moving the whole term, so all I can do is add or subtract. And because the 6x is positive, I have to subtract 6x to make that 0. Now I'm going to bring down the positive, and you don't have to show the sign when it's positive, but I will in this example, 8y. And again, I'm going to put the negative 6x in front, plus 8. Now for our third step. I'm going to divide each side by 8. Two things I want to point out here. You notice the 8 is multiplied to the y, so the only way to move the 8 is by division. In this example, I also just showed dividing the right side by 8 instead of showing that I divided each term by 8. The reason why I did that is I wanted to show you it's really the same thing. But if you show it this way, you have to remember that dividing the right side by 8 is the same as dividing negative 6x by 8 and dividing 8 by 8. So be careful how you show it. Make sure that you understand what you're doing there. Now, all we have to do is simplify. 8 divided by 8 is 1, so it cancels out. Negative 6 divided by 8 is negative 3 fourths times x. And then positive 8 divided by positive 8 is positive 1. So I'm going to put plus 1, and that's our solution. Now let's look at the other example of a three-step equation. In this example, I have three terms on the left side of the equation. And if you notice, I have two x terms. So because those terms are considered like terms, I will start out, my first step will be to combine those terms. So 2x plus 4x is 6x. Since I'm not doing anything with the 3y, it just comes right down and then equals 12. Now, if you look at this, our second and third step will be just like a two-step equation. I need to move 6x to the right side of the equation, and since it's a positive 6x, I subtract 6x. And I'll do that on both sides. So 6x minus 6x is 0, so it cancels out. I will bring down the 3y, and that's equal to negative 6x plus 12. Now I'm ready for the third step, which is to separate the coefficient of 3 from the y, and I do that by division. So this time I'll show it as dividing each term. 3 divided by 3 is 1, so I have y equals, well negative 6 divided by 3 is negative 2, so I have negative 2x, and then 12 divided by 3 is 4. So my solution is y equals negative 2x plus 4. Now, I hope this review on three-step equations has helped, and if you need some review on solving inequalities, then just check out my video entitled Solving Inequalities. Until next time, bye-bye.